Hey guys, Takara here. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're on season two, episode 17 of Angel. I'm really excited to get into this now that Angel is back within the group, hopefully. He's still got a bit to prove, so we'll wait and see how he does that. But yeah, let's roll that intro and get straight into it. Here we go. You're going to have to change your behavior. Be sensitive to their feelings. This is torture for you, isn't it? Yes. Good. <laughs> You're sure about this? Absolutely. You know what? I work for you. I just need to find a place for me to... I took the liberty of providing you with a new working space. Great. <laughs> the music. Two sugars in mine. Mocha cappuccino here. Tell him it's a bitch. <laughs> oh, I kind of love it. I love it. Maybe a little he'll respect the group more being on this side, you know? Yes, and this is a makeout spot. Yep, there they go. West Lake Theatre. This is such a common thing that happens in TV. Like, two people making out in a car. Something <laughs> creepy lurks. Then strikes. Uh. Don't. They're gonna start trying to make small talk, get all stammery. She knows you way too well. I wanted to know how you were. Are right, I mean we There's the stammer. You wanna know how I am? Love this outfit, by the way. Tired, mostly. I'm also jazzed. Can't wait to get our business up and sputtering again. Just so we understand each other, you and I, we're not friends. Oof. Okay. I mean understandable. But hopefully it can be resolved, you know, with time and a bit of effort. Ah. Guys in robes, blue robes, taking people. I'm putting them in like a cell. Big Bird. Big Bird? Not the Muppet, dumbass. Are you, uh, Fine. You, you should take off, go home. Smooth. <laughs> what is it? Hello. Oh, I hate this. <gasps> that the way you greet an old friend? Oh my gosh. Harmony? Harmony, I don't believe it. <laughs> Wait a minute, does she know that she's a vampire? You look different. I'm not the same person I was back at Sunnydale High. Yep. Dead now. So, <laughs> change. <laughs> change is good. Sometimes. She definitely does not know she's a vampire. That got lost in translation. So what are you doing here in town? Business? Oh, business. Play, play, play. I just broke up with someone. Real smothering relationship. You know the kind where they just can't live without you? <laughs> Very different, I think. Uh, to what Spike probably feels. You got a place to stay? You offering? Do I have to say it? Yeah. Okay, you're uh, coming home yeah, with me. Yeah, you do have to actually invite her in. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like, yeah, uh, please do it so I can actually enter your home. <laughs> Didn't she say blue robes? has not he got green robes on? Now see, what you want to go hide in such a pretty face for? <laughs> Cordelia said blue robes, didn't she? She did. I thought she did. It was dark. Perhaps she was mistaken. Hey, I think we should give her the benefit of the doubt before just condemning her like that. Religious sect? I don't know. Slytherin? Maybe? I, I gave her the night off. Did you? It's not your place to say, though, is it? Maybe that I should send her something. Like flowers, maybe. I'm sorry about the migraines. While you're at it, pick me up one of those sorry you are shot in the gut bouquets. You don't want to be treating them differently now, Angel. You've got... Can't buy back, I trust Angel. Yes. A lot of work to be done. She said we're not friends. I know. There's only one thing you can give her, Angel. That's time. Wise words. Delia has a lot of pain to work through. <laughs> <laughs> I am happier now than I was then. Yes. I don't know, I had these air pockets. Because now this is real. It wasn't real then. The work I'm doing... It's it's like the the pockets keep getting filled and I'm becoming me and 
Me has had way too much to drink. You know, it barely told me anything. Can't go out in daylight anymore. Uh, dated Spike for a long time. Continuously tried to kill Buffy. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm feeling really good about me in general. Good for you. You look crampy. Probably need a blood topper. Hungry. Mm. I guess. Pizza. <laughs> Holy. Thin crust. Heavy on the sauce. That transition, though. I just should look like Megan right now. Like Del Rey, what have you done to me? <laughs> She wouldn't hit Cardi though, right? There's no way. Mm. Huh? I didn't do that. The ghost is helping her. The ghost is helping her. I have a ghost. What are you doing in my- Nothing. I'm sorry. I thought I could resist these urges. Urges? You have no idea how hard it is to stay away from you. <laughs> She's like, huh? So luscious. She is gonna think something very differently here. You're a... I should have told you. I'm scared that if you found out what I was, you'd kill me. God, you really think I'm that narrow-minded? I don't care about that. The last time I remember being truly happy was back in school with you. What? Really? It looked like she was having a blast. It's just that I had no idea it thought of me that way. I don't. I swear. It's just... Well, I haven't had any for a while and... <laughs> this is too much. This is way too much. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention this to anyone. Oh no. How come you guys didn't tell me about Harmony? Sunnydale's that far away. Who's she on the phone to? Harmony? Oh, she's on the phone to Willow! What happened? Did she come after you? She practically attacked me in my bedroom. But I, I think she got the message that I don't go for that sort of stuff when I shot her down. You wounded her? She'll get over it. <laughs> it's just continuing. It's just continuing, guys. We're all clear on the fact that Harmony's a vampire, right? Oh, Harmony's a vampire? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> all this time, I thought you was a great big lesbo. Mm. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. Good for you. <laughs> Thanks for the affirmation. Oh, it would have been better to actually hear Willow say those things. Call you when I get somewhere safe. Where are you going? Dun dun dun. Holy, that was just way too much for me. <laughs> Made me shoulders call. <laughs> Willow, what's it? Slow down. What's it? Hold on. Get away from a <gasps> foot. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Your friend Harmony here is a vampire. Yeah, I know. An evil vampire. Yeah, we covered that too. She came to me for help. That's what we do. But it's just a filthy demon, an unholy monster. Angel's gonna get take offense to that, maybe? No offense. About what? Cordelia here feels that her friend doesn't pose a threat. I think that we should respect her wishes. I'm just saying. <laughs> he starts pointing at, pointing at Angel. You're just going to leave her here? A ghost to look out from. Harmony can stay here. I don't want to stay here alone with the ghost. <laughs> Doesn't appear to be hieroglyphical. She, she is brilliant. You are, I suggest someone put a stake through that woman's heart if she persists in popping up bloody chewing gum. Do me a favor, lose the gum. Okay. She just rips it out of the book. <laughs> this book is 12 centuries old. Okay, so it's not like I messed up a new one. <laughs> I swear I saw Cordelia smiling then. Oh, I uh, see we have company. <laughs> it's all right to speak freely in front of her. That was a She's lot. a vampire. Don't we kill him anymore? <laughs> I've been grabbing people off the street for a while now, almost a month. Or maybe we haven't heard because not a lot of bodies are turning up. They're turning them. Into vampires? Someone's recruiting. Oh. The time is here. The time is now. Oh, there's lots of different coloured robes, different houses. I said, are you ready? Because it's time. <laughs> that Tash though. <laughs> Through my personally devised multi-level exponential flow cooperative. <laughs> what? 
and they turn two more into vampires, and so on. He talks decent with those teeth in. I bet it's hard to do. You turn two into vampires, and you bring one for the food bank. Right. <laughs> Terrifying. Ugh, cults everywhere. Found something. And there's nothing mystical about it. It's a logo for a defunct pyramid scheme. Vamps running money scams now? That's low. Lord help me. Self-described life coach named Doug Sanders. Sounds like he has the makings of a cult leader. And a picture. Are we talking? Ooh, let me see. <gasps> I don't think it would work that way, but you know. <laughs> Come on, Harm. Such a fitting nickname. <laughs> Bloody hell. Bloody hell. I know someone who understands a little something about pain. We're going out! I thought she would have just meant Angel. Who's she? Oh, of course. She's going to be singing. Memories. What do you think? I think your friend should reconsider the name Harmony. <laughs> Harmony's looking for a little guidance. Yeah, I'm picking up on the betwixt in between. So you can help me? No. That's it? Yeah, you were supposed to do some mind mojo. Show me my path. You're already on it, my little cacophony. Stick with her and let your pal be your guide. Interesting. Hey, look, we want to drive around the area. Maybe you can pick up some vibe from your vision or see something. Like a red bird. <laughs> Harmony, he said stick with you. I understand now where my place is. With you, I'm one of the good guys now. So the team expands, question mark. I'd be down for more harmony. She would rile things though. Look at us, we're working together. Never had a job before. Cordy isn't giving you the joyous vibes back, my girl. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, sorry. Do we get paid vacation? Stop, stop the car, pull over here. Um, you haven't been hired yet, okay, chick? You have to wait for the invitation. The bird you saw was red. Something familiar. No, I guess it isn't it. Yep, there it is. Electronic store? Got to turn on its lights. Ah, I told you this was it. <laughs> I told you this is it. Of course you did. What's my job? Guard the car. You got it, boss. Harmony cannot work with us. I know, it's just temporary. It's giving her a reason to go on. I don't want her going on. She's what? the enemy. What makes you... What? Harmony will turn on you. Because you did? Because it's her nature. She's a vampire. So are you. She doesn't have a soul. Yeah, that's the difference. I noticed yours didn't get in the way of betraying the people who work with you, who cared about you. True. You didn't just hurt me. You gave away my clothes. To the needy. I am the needy. Do you know how scared I was? You were on your way to becoming Angelus. Imagine what could have happened if you'd gone nuts and slept with Darla. You know I would never do that. Angel. You lying toe rag. Too many nightcrawlers in this town know what you look like. Some can sense your soul. Harmony. Harmony. Oof. She could be our inside spy. Tell us what's the what. Me? Out to the question. I got a bad feeling about this. This is the chance you needed to find a purpose. But I thought I had purpose guarding the... Okay. I want to do this. I'm nervous. All right, homie. You're on. They're saying you're on. Here comes Harmony. Because they don't care if she ends up getting slayed slain in the process you know what i mean spreading the ghostly remnant in your past life ignore it what did that say at the bottom then turning a bloodbath what <laughs> they're all men though where's the women at other than harm she should have been back by now oh, maybe she ran into trouble are you okay fine there's maybe a hundred of them in there give or take you so cool i know oh dear i never felt like i belonged anywhere before the vampires where are they? Why am I feeling sympathy for Behind you. Baham right now? I belong with them. Uh oh. Because I'm an idiot is the answer to that, guys. I am a silly sausage. 
Look, a member of our organization for less than 20 minutes, <laughs> and look what she's delivered. Two to turn, one for food, and as a bonus, the infamous angel. I think someone just made the ascension of blue robe status. Okay. Congratulations. Oh, you like level up. Okay. Aren't you just the most weak-willed, soft brain? Uh-uh-uh. Doug says those kind of comments are self-growth inhibitors. Wesley? Kill them all! <laughs> oh, I bet I was right in his stitches, that as well. Go on, Cardi, love. Right hook. Okay, that looked kind of funny, though. What's so funny? Your crossbow. You've got it aimed at my throat? That won't kill me. This is the one that'll kill you. Is she gonna kill Harm though, right now? I. We're still friends, right? Mm. <laughs> Goodbye. We're still friends, right? No, Harmony, we're not friends. Just get out of here. Not just here, I want you out of my city. But I, I left a few things that you. Bye. <laughs> But, 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 like, there's just a few things that... <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs> Don't say anything. Ooh, this topic is... ropes. Because she didn't kill her, and therefore she could potentially hurt... people in the future. I know things have been, uh, strained between the two of you. I mean, Cordelia has every right to feel the way she does, and I'm willing to give her the room that she needs. Okay. The healing process. <gasps> oh my god, these are gorgeous. He bought her. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the best. Mwah! New clothes. I have new clothes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I felt Wesley's disappointment then when it came to Cordelia. <laughs> He was like, you can't buy her affection, you can't buy her forgiveness. He buys her some clothes and she's forgotten everything. Yikes. But it is true to Cordelia. Cordelia has, she's lost so much over the years and I think this episode reminded us of how much she has actually lost, how much has changed. And I can't really blame Cordelia for getting excited over the clothes because she lost everything else. Like that's her form of enjoyment. And do I think she should have allowed Angel to work harder to, to gain that trust? Yes. And I do think that she she still will as well. She's just showing her gratitude for, for the clothes. Uh, I do think she will be more cautious moving forward when it comes to Angel and his potential of drifting, you know? Uh, but yeah, like it's hearing them talking about Cordelia, um, Cordelia and Harmony when they were talking about their past, and Harm was saying like, "I can't believe like this is where we're at now. I expected us to be doing something cool," and Cordelia explaining that I'm finally happy now because you know when she was back in high school, it was a case of everything felt quite frivolous, quite empty the things that she was doing in life she was just doing for popularity or you know affection and then she realized when she's doing more substantial things she she could feel herself become full and i think that was just a beautiful moment and yes she still is going to get excited over clothes etc you can't take that out of cordelia but her growth it, it's so justified and earned uh, she isn't the person that we saw in Buffy season one she's come a long way and yes yeah, some traits remain um, but that those traits give her happiness and you could see the joy in her face uh, so yeah that's my thoughts on that when it comes to harmony and her friendship though I do feel like that is a very much a grey area because she has that connection with Harmony from years of being her friend. So I can't blame her for not wanting to kill her or not being able to kill her. But obviously sending her away, saying get out of my sitter, she is still running about and potentially can harm others. Uh, and I guess Cordelia will have to live with that choice. Uh, I thought maybe she would ask 
you know someone else to to deal with that and maybe her to stay you know in ignorance is bliss type of thing but yeah I, I think it's it's understandable that she couldn't kill her friend uh, I think it takes a very strong-minded person to be able to go through with that and feel so sure of themselves and their opinion um to be able to put an end to an ex-friend like that is a it's a big thing i love harmony though i think she's unapologetically herself um even if she gets a little bit lost within herself her personality and quirks remain very much on the surface she seems like she doesn't keep anything really hidden you know she did double cross so i guess that was a a bit a bit hidden there um but i honestly don't feel like she felt she was going to do that until she was in there she doesn't really think ahead she doesn't think of her her future everything's very impulsive and i think that's more so reminiscent of her you know addictive personality uh, it, it's definitely got connotations of addiction when she was talking about you know the blood the lust the, that feeling and she was just so obsessed with it and found it hard to fight and I think that is very clear when she's out and living her life she doesn't have that restraint she tries to um, but she's very easily led easily manipulated uh, and just goes she goes by the second of the day Never mind thinking of next week or the years ahead. It's just very much in the now and it can change on a dime. Uh, she just always just believes, believes what she hears. Because I'm sure if Cordelia said, right, you can't do that, she would believe that. But the second someone else were to say, no, nah, you want to do this, then she would, she would just instantly crumble and do that as well. Uh, she's a very interesting character and one that I'm glad to see on Angel. Because I never even thought about Cordelia not knowing about Harmony being a vampire. Oh, and the back and forth of her thinking that Harmony was a lesbian and hitting on her to, to actually Willow explaining, uh, nah, she's a vampire, <laughs> okay? Vampire. And then in turn, it appeared like Willow also came out. Uh, we didn't get to hear it, but we saw like, Cordelia's reaction to that and yeah hopefully Cordelia will be a lot more educated and a lot more careful about her words moving forward as well. I do think this show enjoys doing those types of scenes because they, they've done them many times now obviously more so in Buffy but it's in Angel now as well where they're going back and forth uh, believing it's about a certain topic when in actual fact it's very much different but it's good that they had willow there to sort of just bring bring them back down and be like okay but yeah we got to the bottom of it cardio understood in the end and even more so that the difference between um vampires and humans is a soul and angel as well um but the main thing is the friend that you knew is no longer that friend uh, her soul has been removed and therefore the person you loved has qualities that remain but the main thing is no soul so trust is probably not in the forefront of, of their uh, their minds there was a stage where angel saying we need to kill harmony we need to kill harmony you know what we've got to do and a bit of me was like yeah but you've got to listen to cordelia as well and she's saying that she's trusting of her friend Obviously, it turns out that they were correct and she's evil and she'll turn. Um, but I think it's a credit to them that they gave Cordelia that chance to learn that lesson. It wasn't just shut down immediately and then they take that decision away from her. It is risky though, don't get me wrong. It's very risky. This is what I mean by it being very much like a grey area because it could have ended in disaster. Cordelia could have been killed, Wesley, anyone could have been really seriously harmed. Um, but luckily it didn't and Cordelia has learnt a valuable lesson and hopefully will grow from that as well. Uh, and it was a nice reminder for me to be like, oh, Angel does have a soul. Uh, and again, Cordelia's response to that was just so well done. It's like, well, you have a soul and yet you still hurt me. 
and it's more so tapping into those human traits you know because humans have souls doesn't stop them from hurting other humans it's not a case of soul equals angel no soul equals demon yeah i do think it was a powerful episode it might have felt monster of the wiki with this cult and whatnot to me it had so many layers within this episode yes it had comedy which was bloody brilliant but also those relationships and those little details air and those feelings as well and yeah i just i really enjoyed this one and i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction as well as much as the episode and tell me all about it in the comment section below because i'd love to read them give this video a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if it could be so kind as always there's no pressure here massive shout out to my patrons you guys are watching these in their extended form and a lot further ahead than over on youtube as well and your support means the freaking world and it's allowing me to continue to do this so i cannot thank you enough genuinely from the bottom of my heart thank you and i hope you're continuing to enjoy the content that's to come as well uh, thank you so much and I hope to see you all again soon for the next video. Bye guys. And before I completely sign off, I'll do a comment from the Dat Pack and today I've chosen the lovely absolute zero that says, you more or less nailed it. If perfect happiness brings out in jealous, then it stands to no reason that perfect despair can help bring him back around to Angel. Or at least a new version of Angel. Both he and Kate had their own experience with hitting rock bottom for this episode and coming through that experience as someone different, moving on from what they were and learning to step forward into the next version of themselves. As for Angel being let into Kate's apartment without an invite, I think the idea is that the powers that be bent the rules this one time in order to let him in so that he could help. Not all that dissimilar from the snowstorm they caused in Buffy 310 in Amends, in order to keep him from incinerating himself at dawn at the hands of the first evil. It seems the powers that be have a real interest in not just making sure Angel stays alive, but also stays good so that he's able to fight the good fight. And I feel like I needed this comment because I was caught off guard at the fact that Kate said that he didn't need to invite him in. I was like, huh, what does this even mean? Uh, but your explanation makes so much sense because if he's in this prophecy and he's supposed to, you know, help avoid this apocalypse and uh, basically save the world, I'm assuming that's what this is all about. Uh, the powers that be are needing to watch over him and, you know, help with a guiding, uh, guiding hand where they can and, and bend the rules a little bit, which makes a lot more sense to me anyway. Uh, but thank you so much, Absolute, uh, for leaving your comment. It means the world that you're watching my content and sharing your views as well. Thank you for taking the time. I genuinely appreciate it. And guys, don't forget if you want to see one of your comments at the end of my videos, then don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. And maybe yours will be next. Thank you all so much and goodbye for now.